Hey guys, this is Ulrich and welcome to my tech channel. Today we're gonna to talk about Unify again. Why? Because uh, Unify just recently re released new version of Unify controller and there's a lot of talks about that. It's a massive update, it's a brand new interface which is getting lots of questions and lots of negative feedback. So let's look at that and see why it is and should you update or not, should you rush to update or it's better to wait till the most stable release is available. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so let's start with Unify website. So unifycommunityui.com. I'm going to link all these documents to the description down below in this video and you would be able to go ahead and look at that on your, yourself to see what's new, what improvements are what are the bug fixes and what is impressive in this 6.1.71 Unify controller release is that it's going basically mostly towards UDM kind of scenario and UDM based interface and it also includes some of the new fields and looks on the controller itself visually right plus uh, there are some additional supports which has been added but if you're not using those you would not be able to see that so for example WAP83 support if you are not using that doesn't make much difference for you but what's impressive for me in particular is that list of bug fixes so I did a go ahead and install that and uh, we'll jump to that in a second but basically what it does here there is a lot of fixes including adoption uh, methods and problems which would you see potentially with your access points after some of the updates and I saw that couple things as a couple times as well and surprisingly enough one of my access points got disconnected after I updated the controller to 6171 and I was able to fix that and I will include that information in this video as well but in general there is a lot of fixes and uh, what I noticed also I tried that on Safari I tried that on Chrome and I tried that on Firefox from the interface perspective, you probably saw that also. If you go to Cloud Key uh, Unify Controller Interface, uh, then after some time, the Cloud Key page reporting the, the controller itself would be unresponsive, especially if you're using massive dashboards like I do. Then the whole thing will run out of memory and basically stuck, and you have to close your page and open new one. Right now, I'm running that for a while, and I don't see that. One of the other options is that um, in the, yeah, the new controller, you know, there is a new options for uh, settings and configurations. And on the new controller, you are able, uh, you are not able anymore to use those. Go back to legacy settings, uh, which is kind of a dumber. But also at the same time, if you roll back and start you not using your new interface, but you would like to have new configuration options available for you the new interface setup then that would not be available for you as well so it's either or right and uh, let's jump to the controller itself uh, you good thing is you can roll it back and one of the things before we go is uh, like device fix for winman table that is integration on your device mobile on the mobile device if you have win wi-fi man application as well then uh, there is an integration of some sort. I'm not using that, so I didn't test that on my phone and not sure if that's how that's gonna go. But in particular, uh, from the rest of the interface, it's pretty, um, you know, Unify tends to do recently things like they take some of the useful information that actually people need out, so it's no longer available, or you have to dive deeper into the settings to get that, instead of making it more simple and at the same time they don't add things like throughput graphs like whatever you see on UDM for example right they don't have that added to the new console and even though the new console is alpha so let's jump right into it so again if you need this page just scroll to the notes in the comments uh, in the details section to this video I will get the link to this page and you will be able to look at that all right, so you saw that before, right? So this is one of the interfaces. I changed it slightly, the dashboard. I did a customized dashboard for myself, which I actually like a lot. And it shows me all the information which I have, which would be interest for me, 
right? I have my throughputs, I have my downloads and uploads and latencies and what, how many clients on the Unify access points and so on, right? Many other things like throughput, megabit per second, port utilization, usage, stuff like that, distribution of the traffic, many things. And I group them slightly separately. If you saw my previous video, which I'm gonna link there as well, that talks about how to build these dashboards using that particular interface, then you would be able to basically customize it the way you like it. This is the way I like it. If you really want that kind of setup, let me know and um, drop this export to the Google Drive and send you a link, right? It doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. Uh, so you can use that. It will reflect information for your environment, but the layout would be similar. And you can change that, like I said, if you're really interested, look at that video. I'm gonna also link it in the description down below. So you can look at that and see how it's done. It's not a rocket science, it's very simple. But what happened here, if you go to settings, right now you don't see settings like going back to classic view, which you used to have here. But what you also have is a controller settings. Also, on the controller itself, you don't really have options anymore to disable cloud access. So this is one of the things which is not good because this recent um, leak of the information and uh, like the whole security thing with Unify, you really probably want to think twice before you enable that controller to the cloud access. There are some advantages and there are some disadvantages for the cloud access, definitely, um, but in the recent threats and recent investigations which has ongoing from the thing which you got back and I think at the beginning of the year or January uh, or December timeframe, then there was a massive uh, breach of security in Unify and lots of accounts were compromised. So all of that things would actually uh, give you a kind of idea if you really, really want to have that access maybe temporarily remove from the cloud, but if you move to 6.1.710 or whatever it is right now, like backend is 6.1.71, but UI is 6.1.7.1.0. Okay, so this is a build number right there, as you can see. And with this build number on the controller option, you no longer have capabilities to actually go ahead and disable cloud access. So it's on, right? So if you update, be prepared that there is no way for back. But for user interface, if you go to user interface and switch to alpha to the new one, by default, I'm not sure why, but by default, when you install this particular cloud update, alpha interface will be immediately enabled. And I'm not sure since when alpha interfaces, it's not even better, it's alpha interface. Alpha interface get immediately enabled. Why? right back there is an option to do so but do it dis disable it by default but what unify does they enable it by default and what it does for you it will completely change the way you think look the interface look and it's not i would be like i would not say i like it right there's a still option here go back to the dashboard to the previous one uh your classic dashboard right also, there is no way for you to customize this. So if I don't want some of the stuff and I want to add some extra stuff, there is no way for me to basically go ahead and update that, to change it, at least for now. And also, if you go and change, for example, like they go to topology view, right? They change it and when you look and mouse over the device, then it will not show you the line, like this is dotted line, all the connection to the gateway, right? which is used to be the case before they go and do some extra things like they show you links they show you distribution between 2.5 and 5 gigahertz if you're really interested to see that and uh, floor plan is no longer an option you have to go and get it rebuilt in the specific uh, designer which is basically hosted on unify machines and not a good thing as well. I didn't try that yet, but I would not say that it's very convenient because I have to get my previously created floor plan and I would rather use that instead of going and building something maybe in 3D or whatever, right? But again, this is nothing. The other thing which is not good is that on statistics, you don't see shit. <laughs> 
basically you don't see much you don't see performance metrics you don't see port metrics you don't see switch metrics just this like you have applications webs and distribution and top application range that's it there is the rest of my stats there is my actual statistics for the throughput for the performance for the metrics for the, i don't know for latency where all these things are and then like they're not here and they're not even available so that's that's big thing as well from the inside information there is a link right now to see and filter out the devices which are no longer connected but some people say it's good things i don't really care i'm not barely using inside i'm just looking on the clients i'm not using inside for that for thread management it's the same thing as before you have your traffic log and i have a link about thread management and uh, right there if you're interested to see how to set it up and what the thread management solution from unify is just look at that thing and you will be surprised and basically i recommend you enable that on a level five because of the recent threads and the recent things which we see i would rather be safe and sorry all right so alerts and settings uh, those are new settings right now right right now you see your new settings so but there is no way you you can go back to classic settings even here but if you switch to the old interface the old dashboard the one we love and the one which you can customize you only have classic settings you don't have this interface at all and of course they change colors here it used to be orange now it's blue who cares right so i think that focus is right now on unify is that they try to make it pretty and sacrifice the actual information and details the actual admins would need to maintain the environments and i'm not sure why this is going this way but this is not a good way to go all right so what i did instead i just switch immediately because this is even as much as i some people like this particular interface i like the old one too but i'm okay with this one because i i was using this one also but in general like this in particular dashboard this is nothing just shows you nothing at all like what is this like uh, you have your information about Wi-Fi experience and number of clients like what the hell right and all of these things the only thing which is showing you here right now which is just which didn't show on a previous console right I have real-time usage in kilobit per second and it's been updated every one minute or so and then uh, usage peak usage in megabit per second right an uplink and downlink that information is useful it's currently not available on the current actual uh console but other than that all of these things like wireless wired type other what the hell is this like view traffic if you click here you're gonna jump back immediately to statistics page which is nothing like the only thing which i like as well and it was kind of available before on the client page you will see right now experience which you can turn off and switch it back to to see actual information about what access point users are connected but what they did correctly right now is downloading an uplink is shown bit per second so it's actually showing you who is using your traffic right so i can tell right now that my webcams are actually using lots of uplink is using 1.6 megabit per second right but other than that there is no benefits here i would rather have that set up on the old client for the old dashboard for the client view but other than that there is no benefit so what i did immediately i just went back to the settings went to the user interface uh, which it would be on system settings here and turn off new user interface and surprisingly enough it shows you this freaking message saying that deactivating will sacrifice some performance and negatively impact controller performance this is bs right it doesn't really impact controller performance at all and what i see right now once you switch back to your default view the one you love and like the one you really like uh, this benefit of this update the only thing is right now this page can hold and you can have it open as much as you want and it will not eat memory and it will not they probably fix the memory leak basically right it will not eat memory and it will be solid and you can jump back to clients you can jump back to your devices all the stuff which you love and like don't like the thing this is the interface i would add more customized 
uh, applets and kind of like dashboards here instead of taking away that thing. Because what I would like to see here instead of this particular my maximum throughput and maximum uplink and downlink speed, what is my current throughput? I only see it on the graphs here, right? This is a good thing as well, but I then it, this graph in particular will not tell me who is using the most, right? And that would be interesting to see what is my top client who is using most of my uh, throughput and why, if I need to investigate that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know how do you like the new interface, if you plan to upgrade or not. Uh, my recommendation is right now, if you upgrade, just uh, downside is you would be locked to the cloud ID and cloud account. You can create your local account, but there is no way for you to turn it off. So if you go to your UI accounts on unified servers on cloud, you will still see your controller there. And you can click on that and it will basically show you the same view, but it's accessible from the unified cloud if you update that and there is no way for you to turn it off. Right. So for that particular reason, if you're not afraid of that, you change your password, you enable and reset your two way authentication. Good for you. You should be good uh, for that. But if it's still in doubts, don't update. If you're OK with that, but would like to keep the old console, you can do that because you see I'm still using the old dashboard, even though the stability benefits like the ones which you have here all of these fixes I applied and I see benefits of that, right? But if that's not good for you, then just stay with uh, version 5 or previous controller version, which is uh, even before 6.0, before 6.1, uh, those controllers are mostly stable and they're not having any issues. Uh, like you can still maintain your devices if you want, right? But in general, I think that's the biggest concern right now is that direction that Unify is going because that's not good. It, they're going in the wrong place. They're going into wrong direction. They're trying to make it pretty and we are not buying Unify systems to make it pretty. All these consoles are nice to see, but the, what we have to get is stable product which is actually supported and which is actually getting clients connectivity stable and solid. And there's all these things focusing on this stuff and just you just shooting yourself in the foot basically. That's, I mean, Unify, right? But uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. All right, so the basically what you see here is when I installed my one of the access point went offline, I log in as SSH and I try to reset to restore default and my CSRAPA process basically got stuck. So the only way for you to do it is reset it, just do reboot and then log in again and then run the command again. Now your system is ready and to be re-adopted and in that case adoption process will not hang and it will work as expected. Uh, you have to set up your IP back to where to, you like and that's going to be it. Alright guys, so that's it for today's review. Let me know, like I said, what do you think about the new controller? If you're gonna upgrade it, why? If not, you're gonna upgrade. If you're not gonna upgrade it, tell me why as well. I hope you like this video. I hope you find it useful. Um, if you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share it with your friends, and make sure your notific notification bell is on so you can see when and be notified when the next video is available for you on this channel. Thank you for staying with me till the end. Until next time, I'll see you around. Peace.